Guys, it's Aftermath here on the YouTubes with Anthony, Jimmy, and Kevin, and we are talking about our most memorable Rumble moments for us. This is our own opinion of what we find memorable about the Rumble. So if we, if our stuff isn't on a list you have, you can complain to Jimmy on Twitter. Uh, Kevin, uh, what is your most memorable Royal Rumble moment? So back when I was a little younger, I used to go down to the Super Video 99 in Aurora, Ontario, where I grew up, and I purchased the old WWF videotapes off the shelf, and I'd bring them home. One of the first ones that I owned was Royal Rumble 1997, Royal Rumble 1998, pretty significant, Stone Cold Steve Austin, he was your winner. And then 1999 was another one that I owned. 1999, super unique, because Austin, he wanted to win again. It looked like he was going to win again, but that damn dastardly Mr. McMahon. He pulls out all the stops and Mr. McMahon was your winner. Would I like this today? Absolutely not. Did I like it in 1999? <laughs> oh, you better believe it. It was awesome <laughs> because I thought that Stone Cold was going to win. It looked like Stone Cold was going to win and the rivalry between Austin and McMahon was that good at the time that McMahon winning was just too good. It was too perfect the way they set it up to beating the hell out of Austin throughout the match. And then McMahon sitting at commentary and then getting so, so scared and surprised when Stone Cold started coming back. Loved it. I just remember how mad everybody got. And that was a hundred percent great. Uh, Jimmy, what about you? You've been there for quite a few of them. Yes. And uh, one that I was there for was 2005 when Dave Batista and John Cena went over the top rope. They oh, were the yeah. last two guys. Oh. They landed at exactly the same time and the SmackDown referees in our blue shirts were in a bit of a uh, disagreement with the raw referees. And, and as they scrambled to find the general managers, the respective general manager of each brand, Vince McMahon had had enough, got up, comes storming out, throwing his jacket down and comes to settle the fray. And of course we all know what happened when he dove into the ring, uh, poor Mr. McMahon, uh, Mr. tearing Man. Both, both quads. Both but anyways, I, it was the first ever, let's say OT in Royal Rumble history. Yeah. That might've been the first it was, one. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah I would have, I would have loved to have, have had Roger Goodell there or something like that. We go to, or have a video replay judge or something. But for me, that was one of the, the most memorable. Absolutely. Especially being right there when it happened, that's got to uh, exactly. stick in your mind. Anthony, I'm going to, if you don't pick something you did yourself, I'll be shocked. <laughs> Of course, I'm going to pick something I did. Yes, <laughs> but here's a, here, here's an insight. I've never told anybody this one. Okay, Ooh. so my first Rumble du Royal was uh, I believe it was an MSG. It was probably 2008. Um, so I just turned heel a few months ago, and everything's going great. And um, okay, I have to I have to do a little bit of back back thing. Oh boy! Before I had my first match, before I started training in professional wrestling. I was at a fundraiser. We were sending uh, one of our uh, people from our school, um, Al Barone, was going to go to Japan. So we were raising money for him at a banquet hall. And Don Koloff said, you want to do a little run-in, something, you know. So I said, yeah, sure. So anyway, Al Barone gave me a two-handed choke slam. And I've never really bumped, kind of. I never learned yet. And also, there was an like, MMA match in earlier the night. So they took out some padding. And it was very hard. Anyway. Double choke slam, I was knocked out cold. Worst knockout <laughs> of my entire life. Um, concussion, the whole nine yards. So anyway, I have a little phobia of getting choke slams. And like uh, uh, I, I even, when Kali gave me one time, I landed on my feet first, then took a bump. And I've, I've taken horrible choke slams from Big Show. Anyway, my first Royal Rumble. They go, okay, you're going to run to the ring. Super kick from Shawn Michaels. Choke slam from Taker. I'm like, oh my god, what if I? <laughs> and I, and I'm, I'm not trying to. I'm like, on the count of three, jump, man. And my legs just don't do it. It's just the weird. It's just like ugh, this phobia or whatever. I guess it's subconscious because I'm trying. I know how to fall, but for some reason, I jump like sideways and not up. So anyway, I get in there. It's. HBK and Taker, and they're kind of looking at each other. Boom, super kick. And Taker picks me up and just cans me out with behind, from a hand behind the neck. <laughs> and he didn't, he didn't do the, the choke slam. So, whoo. Dodge the uh, bullet. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. Uh, that's amazing. I'm going to give, uh, uh, before I give my favorite Rumble moment, uh, I'm giving a very 
very honorable mention to 2016 when our truth brought the ladder in the ring thinking it was money in the bank <laughs> that was because that's the greatest thing uh also uh my my favorite rumble ever and my greatest moment is 92 when flair won the gold it was for when that rumble was for the title yes it was made great because it was for the championship everybody in that match mattered everything on line to get that title and bobby heenan on bobby, commentary oh, yeah. yes. it made mm. it perfect Classic. go back watch it right now if you're an aspiring wrestler get some lessons if you're like a commentator get some lessons i like the royal rumble better than wrestlemania it's my favorite. I, the rumble's the best uh the best. You, watching old ones on the network this week was like they didn't do music back then you had no idea who was coming out and everybody got a huge pop from the crowd i yeah. i want that to come back uh guys let us know your favorite rumble moments on twitter use the hashtag ask aftermath and be sure to tag jimmy cordera so he can tell you if he was there or not Spoiler, he was. <laughs> Stay tuned for trivia.